Andrew Tucker, and welcome to Andrew Tucker World. What's going on, all my great people? What's going on, all my boxing fans? So let's talk about Sebastian Fedora. I love the kid. Nothing against the kid. Nothing against the kid. That's a disclaimer. Nothing against the kid. I love the kid. Tough fighter. Dangerous fighter. Tough fighter. I love Tim Zhu. I love the kid. Great fighter. Tough, dangerous fighter. It was a war yesterday between these two warriors. Between these two gladiators. But I want to in this try to make this five minutes long at least and shorter. Or shorter. Or how the Australian fighter got robbed over here in the United States of America. How the, the Australian fighter got robbed over here in America. <sighs> Tim Zoo won that fight unanimous decision <sighs> yesterday night. In a, in a tough, hard-fought battle with Sebastian and Fedora. I take nothing away. I take nothing away from Sebastian Fedora. He he had to dig deep. He kept fighting, taking so many power shots, accumulation of power shots. So, against a volume puncher and a dangerous boxer puncher like Tim Zhu. Show the heart, the, 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 term, the determination, the grit, the toughness, the mental fortitude to keep pushing, to keep going, to keep digging deep, to stand toe to toe. Knowing that I know that he know how to use two or three advantages that he had over Tim Zhu, but knowing that Tim Zhu also had two advantages. The game plan started to work, but he experienced a bad, very deep, bad cut right here on the top of his, of a, on the, uh, right on the top of his head right here, you know, that allowed blood to come down, kept coming out in front of his face, in front of his eyes, allowing his eyes to become, sooner or later, becoming very, allowing his vision to become very blurred, blurred. <laughs> Very blurry vision, blurred vision where he nearly blind and kept fighting and he kept fighting and he kept fighting with blurred vision, with blood coming down, streaming, streaming, so much blood and the cut was so bad that they should have stopped the fight. They sh couldn't have stopped the fight. Should have, sh probably should have stopped the fight. But he kept fighting. It was because of Tim Zhu. He told him, no, don't, don't, don't stop this fight. No, don't do that. Do doctor, get up my face. My my coach, my trainer, my cut man, I, I have my entire team get out my face. I'm okay. I'm gonna let this blood keep streaming down my face, covering my whole face in blood, and losing a nice amount of a, a, a crazy amount of blood. But I'm gonna keep fighting. I'm gonna keep fighting. I'm gonna keep digging down deep. I'm gonna keep fighting. I'm gonna keep out pointing this tough, dangerous guy that I'm against. Because I know I'm slightly, I, I, I'm slightly better. I, I, I got the right game plan, and I'm gonna show him. He's a warrior, but I'm gonna show him that I'm a dog, I'm a beast, I'm an animal, I'm a warrior too. I'm a gladiator, and I'm gonna keep fighting. I'm gonna keep pushing. I'm gonna keep throwing. I'm gonna keep setting him up with the nice counters. Keep going to his body. Need something to attack to the body. Going to going with the shots to the head with a single punch counter, two punch counter, three punch. I mean two punch counter. Two punch combination, three punch, four punch combination. Go into the body, go to the head. Single punch counter. Set up, boom, boom. Set up the jab. Set up the big right here. Boom, boom. Go with the big, the big, the big one twos. The big overhand rights. I'm gonna keep punching. I'm gonna keep letting my hands flow. I'm gonna go to his body. I'm gonna go to his head. I'm gonna hit him with some vicious hooks. Visit to Bastion's door. They had the jab going. He had the jab going. Boom, boom, boom. I'm seeing the jabs. Boom, boom. I'm seeing the, the the punches. I was seeing the combinations. I was seeing the smart little single little, little counters here and there. Catching, you know, some uh, catching Tim Zoo coming in and things of that nature. I see how they broke was in ways 
very smart with their punch selection, very smart in ways, we were smart in ways, very, very, you know, very accurate and, and, and kind of, you know, and, and very technical when it came to properly putting their punches on the insides, letting a little short shots of the body on the side, shots of the head, boom, boom, boom. I can see how they was, you know what I'm saying, you know, countering here and there on the inside, fought in the pocket, majority of the time, boom, boom, toe to toe, action pack, war. That Tim Zoo got the best of in the majority in most around in most of the rounds in majority of the rounds that Tim Zoo got the best of and effectively, effectively, you know what I'm saying, accurately, effectively, outpointed in more rounds. It was eight rounds to four for me. Could have been seven rounds to five, but Tim Zoo won. He was robbed of. Of of the WBC vacant the vacant WBC super welterweight title. He was robbed of his WBO super welterweight title. How a fighter get robbed in Australia? I mean, I'm so how an Australian fighter from Australia get robbed in America? It was a great fight though. Take nothing away from from neither fighter. It was a great fight. Tim Zoo got robbed. They did him wrong. They did him dirty. They allowed him to, in a way, suffer. A lot. In a way, they allowed Sebastian Fedora to have a huge major advantage. To leave kind of, to leave uh, 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 Tim Zoo in a way, kind of handicapped. And with a major disadvantage. 